Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. My name is Zenzo from Tozawa Tanks, and today I'm gonna talk to you about some of my favorite aquarium sizes and why. Now, before I talk about my favorite aquarium sizes, I wanna talk about one of my favorite t-shirt companies who happens to be a sponsor of this video, Into the AM. Into the AM is a team of artists and creators that formed an apparel company to share a common vision of developing premium apparel that elevates self-expression while focusing on comfort by using the highest quality materials and eco-friendly inks. Into the AM has dozens of cool designs to choose from, covering many categories including t-shirts and tank tops, hoodies and jackets, hats, and even joggers and shorts. Use the link and discount code below to shop at Into the AM and find your clothing piece to express what drives you. And one thing I do want to talk about Into the AM real quick is that uh, the sizing is kind of a fitted size. So this is a large t-shirt um, and it fits me like, um, like a medium large. It's a little bit snug in all the right places. The arms, the shoulders, been loose down in the belly area. So anyway, one of my favorite t-shirt companies. So make sure to check out the link down below. Okay, so now let's talk about my favorite aquarium sizes and why. And the reason why I wanna talk about this is I actually am considering making some changes to this fish room. Now, in a recent video, that vlog video that I made a couple of weeks ago, I talked about how I wasn't spending as much time down here in this fish room as I should be, that I was wanting to uh, maybe change a few things up a little bit to get me more excited about some of the tanks down here. So let's talk about tank sizes. Now, my two favorite aquarium sizes are the 75 gallon aquarium and the 40 breeder. Now, the reason why I like both of these aquariums is that they offer a pretty large amount of swimming area, water volume, floor space, however you wanna talk about it for having lots of different types of fish. So even in a 75 gallon aquarium, you could do like a bunch of African cichlids, or you could do like a really large, like an Oscar or something like that if you wanna keep like one Oscar by itself. In 40 breeders, you can do things like some smaller cichlids, community tanks, pairs for breeding, lots of different options. Now, some of the benefits of the 75 gallon aquarium is that it is a four foot wide aquarium, 48 inches, meaning that from one end to the other, it's four feet. So there's a lot of space for fish to swim back and forth, whether it's one fish or multiple fish, you have a lot of space. The other great thing about the 75 gallon aquarium is that it's 18 inches from front to back, the depth of the tank. So not only is it four feet wide, like there's other tanks that are four feet wide, like 55 gallons and 60 gallons, but those tanks are generally about 13 or so inches wide. So not as much space front to back for fish to turn around, swim. You just have a lot more swimming area for relatively the same size footprint of a 55 gallon aquarium, but you have 20 more gallons of, of water volume and that water volume is all in the front to back. So it's all additional swimming space that the fish can use. So 75 gallon aquarium, very versatile for even medium to larger fish. And then on the same side for the 40 breeder, it being a little bit smaller of aquarium, it's 36 inches wide. So still a pretty good amount of space for fish to swim, you know, back and forth, especially small to medium sized fish. And then it is also 18 inches front to back. So again, you get that depth uh, more swimming space, more surface area front to back so that you can have more fish or larger fish in a 40 breeder. So now that takes me to this fish room down here and some of my thoughts about some of the tanks that I have, wanting to make some changes. Now I have a lot of 75s down here and I have a lot of 40 breeders, but I also happen to have like 10 gallon tanks and 15, 20 gallon tanks and stuff like that. So um, I want to maybe make some changes to where I'm removing some of the smaller tanks and putting a little bit larger of an aquarium there for a couple of reasons. One, that gives me more options as far as the type of fish that I'm keeping. It also is gonna aid me in having to do less frequent water changes because there's more water volume to dissipate any type of bio load or waste that the fish are producing. Um, or I can put more fish in there. So depending on the type of tank and the setup that I'm doing, I'm gonna have more options if I have larger aquariums. Now, every time I give people advice on what type of aquarium to buy, I would say get the largest tank that you can afford and fit in that space because later on down the road, you're gonna wish you had a larger aquarium. And me setting up this fish room, there are certain tanks where I wish, gosh, I wish I put, a 75 gallon tank here instead of 220s because the 220s pretty much take up the same amount of space width wise. It's, you know, basically it's about four feet. And if I were to put a 75 gallon tank there instead of 220s, obviously I have 35 more gallons of water, but it's all one tank and I've got a lot more options. So 
I think over the coming months, I'm gonna start making some changes to give myself some more options when it comes to fish. Now, I am gonna be making some changes also in the types of fish that I'm keeping, kind of, again, changing some things up just to kind of get more excited about fish, maybe fish that I've bred for a while, ready to move those on and try something different. Before I go on, do me a big favor, hit that like button. It really does help my channel and it helps the algorithm. And if you don't mind, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I would very much appreciate it. But getting back to the tank size, the 75, the 40 breeder, for me, those are great. Now I do have different size tanks. I've got a 125 right here that you can't see on camera. I've got uh, this 90 gallon, which is a five foot wide. 18 inch front to back uh, acrylic tank um, that I have. And uh, that one is quite versatile because it's large and I can have my cichlids in there. Um, but for all these other tanks, I've got 29s and 10s and 20s and 16 gallons and other things that maybe are just not doing what I want them to do. So if I have the space, if I can move things around without having to like reconstruct uh, and do any like major project with stands and, and things like that, then I'm going to make some changes. So anyway, those are my thoughts on my favorite aquarium sizes. Now let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about uh, fish tank sizes. Is you Do you have a favorite tank size? Um, do you have a lot of space? Maybe it's 125s and 180s or 240s. Heck, I would love to have a bunch of 240s, but I don't really have the space for them down here. Well, I guess I could, but then I'm limited on the number of uh, tanks that I could have. Um, but anyway, I've got the 125, uh, and maybe you know down the road I might do larger fish tanks. I've always said if I end up you know moving or when I move and I build a new fish room, I'm going to do things differently, and that I'm going to have larger tanks. And I think I would probably stick with the 75s and the 40s, where I could put the 40s below the 75s on top. It just kind of works with my racking system, and then. I could always have like a couple of 125s or 180s as the as the display tank. So anyway, let me know down below in the comments your favorite tank size. What are your thoughts on my thinking about uh, my favorite tank size? And also let me know your thoughts about uh, my desire to make some changes down here. Now I don't want to sound like I'm ungrateful or I'm spoiled. It's just, you know, you you're in a hobby for a long time and you try different things and after a while you want to try something different and I'm at the point now where I want to try a few different things. This fish room has been in this current state the way it is for about two and a half years or a little bit longer than that so I think it's time to, to do a few different things. So anyway thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to check out the link below to Into the AM really high quality stuff too. These are not just like printed on graphics on cheap t-shirts, just the t-shirts. I even have some plain ones are really well made. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you wanna learn more about this fish room, then watch this video right here.